In this video, we will look at a little man computer simulator and we'll see how we can use it to write and run and track a simple assembly language program. The simulator we are looking at here has um, 100 memory locations in the RAM from 0 up to 99. Um, it has an arithmetic unit to do the calculations, an accumulator to store the result of the last operation or calculation, a program counter to store the address uh, of the next instruction to perform, an instruction register that will hold the top div digit of the um, instruction we read from the memory, an address register um, which will hold the bottom two digits of the instructions that we read from the memory, uh, and if there is any input that we need to read, we'll be storing that or we'll be entering that in this box, in the input box, and any output that will be um, the result of that application or program that we are writing will be displayed in this output um, box here. So these are the instructions that we can use with this simulator. Um, the ones that I'm interested in are add, which will allow me to add the content that we have um, in the accumulator with the memory address that we pass here. Um, load will allow me to load the accumulator with the content of the memory address that we pass to this instruction. Um, out, which will allow me to output the content that we have in the accumulator to the, um, to the output device or the output console that we have there. Now, each one of these instructions will have a code, and we'll be writing the instructions using this um, name, and it will be translated to this code with the address that we pass. So let's write a simple program here. To start writing, you can click on this white box, and I can start with an instruction, for example, to load the content of, um, let's say, location 98 to the accumulator. And then I want to add the content of location 99 to that value that we stored in the accumulator. And then um, we want to output the result. Once I'm done, I can send the instruction HLT or hold, and that will mean that we are done with this program. Once I'm done writing these instructions, I can click on Submit, and that will translate these instructions into the binary representation or the decimal representation that we want um, this little man computer to run. So this will load the instruction LDA98 to location 0 in the memory. So if we go to location 0, we'll see that now we have 598 because the code for um, load is 5. So if we go back, here we'll see that load or LDA has the code 5. So the instruction code is 5, and the address that we are loading from is 98, so 598. If you want to see that code in here, you can go to the um, options here, and you can show decimal, and that will show you the instruction, 598. So 5, that means load 98. We are loading from the memory address 98. The next instruction was add. The code for add was 1 and we are adding the content of the memory location 99 to whatever we will have in the accumulator then. 902, that means we are outputting to this output console. Now, um, the input and the output code are the same, which is 9. The address that you specify with that code will decide whether you are inputting or outputting. So if the address was 1, that means you are taking input. If the address was 2, that means you are um, outputting to that console. And finally, we have halt, which is the, um, the value 0. So now that I have my program loaded, or my program instructions loaded to the memory, I can also modify other memory locations, so I can submit some data into these memory locations. So for example, since I'm using the locations 98 and 99, I can go here in the memory and change their values. So I can say that in location 98, I have the value 100, and in location um, 99, let's say I have the value 50. So now I have my instructions and my data loaded into the memory. I can start simulating the program. One thing you might want to do is to um, set the speed to default slow, and then you can speed it up during the execution. So I can set the, in the options drop down here, I can set the um, speed to be default slow. And then I can have two options here, either run or step. Um, I, I'll, I will be using step, so we can see it one step at a time. So once I start clicking on step, it will start executing this program. So we have the program counter zero. 
0, we are going to the memory at location 0 to get the next instruction. And we are also incrementing the value of the program counter. So we send that 0 to the arithmetic unit to increment the program counter. So the next instruction to be executed will be at location 1. So the first instruction was at location 0. So we are going to the memory at location 0 to retrieve the instruction at location 0, which is 598. I'm going to speed up the, um, the movement here. So 598 will be retrieved from the memory, and we are sending it to the instruction register and the address register. The highest bit will be the instruction. The address will be the low or bottom two um, bits. So at location 98, we are going to perform operation 1, which is basically loading. So we are loading from the location 98 in the memory. We are getting the value, and we are loading it into the accumulator. And that was the first instruction we had in the program. So the first instruction was at location 0. We retrieved that value. The instruction was 5, which is load. And we are loading from location 98 in the memory. So we went to location 98, and we brought that value, and we um, placed it in the accumulator. Now if I click on step again, we'll go to the next instruction, which is at location in um, 0, 1, which is the program counter value. Now this will be incremented for the next instruction to be um, that we will get be getting for the next execution. So the program counter will be updated to 2. And then we are going into the memory to location 1 to retrieve the next instruction, which is 199. Now 199 will be split into an instruction code and an address. So the instruction code was 1. 1 means we are adding. And we are getting the value that we want to add um, from location 99. So we'll go to the memory at location 99 and we'll retrieve that value, which is the value 50. The value 50 will be added to whatever we had in the accumulator. So we'll send 150 to the arithmetic unit. And the result 150 will be stored in the accumulator. The next instruction to be executed is at location 2. So we'll go to the memory at location 2. And the program counter will be incremented. So at location 2, we have the instruction 902. 902 will be retrieved from the memory. And then it will be added to the instruction register and the address register. So um, 9 will be the instruction, 02 will be the address. Now, since this is 902, that means we are outputting. So the value 150 will be um, presented out into the output console. So 902, remember 9 is either input or output. 02, that means we are doing an output operation. If it was 01, that means we are um, requesting an input. So we'll be entering an input in here. So the value 150 was sent out to the output console, and that's what, what we are displaying here, the value 150. Now, the next instruction will be at location 3. At location 3, we have the value 0, which means we are halting or stopping this um, program. So we'll get that value. We'll be splitting it into the instruction register and the address register. So 0, 0, that means we are halting that program. So program halted, and we are done with this um, program. 